They'll be calling you a radical. A lot to talk about is in regard to Fukushima. A lot to talk about. I'm going to finish this painting, Chickens of the Sea. But I want you to read this article that's put out. It's brilliant. It's incredible. It cuts across all dynamics. It cuts, it cuts across the truth of the nuclear cartel. Now, there's two financial analysts come out today. Motley Fool, and boy, do I have a story to tell about the history of those. Fraud. They all should be in prison. Motley Fool is the most corrupt. It started right here at I Omega. Those corrupt by the side. If you watch uh, ESPN, I think, whatever that show is he has on. That's him. That's the guy who started Motley Fool. They're fools. Boy, are they fucking fools. But anyway, both saying to buy the uranium mines is a Japanese comeback. That is the fallacy and the fraud of Wall Street. By the way, all you fainting goats, I did it again on my little hedge fund. Let's see, Apple up 35% in, what, 60 days from the time I told you to buy it? Don't matter. You don't care. It'll lick your gold bars. Anyway, I'll finish this painting right here. This is, this is the insanity of the media. This article written about the cover-up in Japan, the laws crime down to is the Japanese people don't want it, and it's General Electric, the Department of Energy. And I want people to understand how important, this piece of art is very important. As, as I do this, I'll finish this painting right now, conceptual art always. When I was, I think I was 11 or 12, I won this art contest at our school. Really dynamic painting. I wish I could find it. Really great painting that I did in oil. I think I was 11 or 12. I mean, it was pretty out there, you know. And I remember telling the art teacher then, when I, I think I was 11, I'm like, I'm so bored with painting like a camera. The art says, I mean, I've, I've been fascinated with the concept of art. I mean, even before I even understood Warhol, Pollock, as I came up with that line, it's not the painting of the soup can, it's the idea to paint the soup can, but then you have to paint the fucking soup can. The idea to paint on a clothesline is the environmentalist, as I've been fighting for my life. I want all you people to understand, I don't give a fuck how many views I get on there. I could give a fuck. I've been looking at some of my old videos, how sucked up. I looked at one today about an environmentalist. The dad's going back in for another round. I was only out for a couple days and I was really sucked up. And it was on February 8th and I remember that night, the infection got in me and I almost went that night. And so these videos are up. This is a fucking war, fuckers. I don't give a fuck. This is, you guys are still caught up in watching a corky cat fucking video. Or, oh, the market's going to crash. The economy's coming to a fucking end. Dollars are going to crash. You fainty fucking goats still waiting for the fucking main event. Oh, fucking Yellowstone going to blow up when fucking the main event happened. The dollar crashed in 2003, you fucking fainty fucking goats. You know, you're still waiting for the event when the event happened right in your face, just like the art. You, you can find a Picasso and paint around. I'm never worried about the artist making the art. I'm fucking worried about the curators understanding the fucking art. You know, we have to shove the curator's head in the fucking trough and hold their fucking head down. I spent a lot of time in New York City in the so-called art establishment. You know, the MoMA historically has got it right. Brilliantly historically have they got it right. But anything past 30 years, they got it fucking dead wrong. They always have it fucking dead wrong. I'm going to do a show. I've got a show coming up. This will be in it. Uh, there'll be other art that people have sent me my their art around. You know, and I'm going to put price tags on that art and I'll send you the money if I sell it. But I'm going to do the, my museum outside. That's where it should be anyway. I mean, as people stand on the corner and paint fucking pretty pictures and look at the mountain. No, no, no. And then they put it in the museum. I mean, most of my paintings painted inside the house. My museum, outdoor Robert Smithson, Spiral Jetty. They put the road I fought with the fucking road. By the way, that video I shot of the spiral jetty at the exact fucking level. That's powerful video content. It's never been there. It's the only video content. People don't fucking see. They're waiting for the fucking main event. The main event happened 3 11, 11 So we'll paint this, finish this up. This is the painting that started my gig. That's the first post ignorance painting. So we'll do this. We'll see if I can paint with one hand, hold the camera with the other for a minute. You know, as we paint with tomato soup, Oh, yeah. I've been working on this painting for three years since I got cancer. Now, I'm going to tag these I got at the Shirtwaist Fire Man. I was standing in Washington Square 
the winter of 2010, right at Jackson Pollock's studio that nobody even knew was fucking there. By the way, I laid my cloth three years later because something happened to me on the way to that place. They threw an American flag in my face. Yeah, it was called fucking leukemia. I've been in the, on my LDS mission for, you know, well over two years in the bone marrow trance, given two months to live. Very critical. I kept my vlog going. But anyway, this was, I made it there three years because I tried to lead up my post ignorance movement to the 100 year anniversary of the shirtwaist fire. But this was this year. Powerful activism. They passed these out. I'm going to put these right over here in this corner where there is some of them in the shape of the Big Dipper. Okay, I'm going to get a horizon on the bottom of this. I really, this, the way it came out, it really, it has a hawk feel to it. It has a swooping bird, but more than that, it looks like a drone to me. You know, and I, so I'm going to put the landscape, I'll get a little horizon out there, maybe a tile floor, you know, with the soup. Now, the soup, you know, classic tomato, cream of tomato, but I'm going to call this chickens of the sea. You know, my line stand tuna. Now, I'll pin this on, this is a very important piece of this piece of art, is this is my plane ticket. You know, I've traveled so much, my activism, that's my plane ticket to the Megan Rice Senate scene which I was with Mary Evelyn Tucker, Megan, that's the most powerful art I ever saw inside that courtroom. Wow, 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 wow. Incredible. So, let's see if we can do this, try this. Let me put this back on thing. And another thing too, I want people to understand my hats. We're the, can we're the skin cancer capital of the world right here. It's 100 degrees here today. Right here where I'm standing, it's 4,500 feet. That's where I hike right there, that's 10,000 feet. But, you know, I started wearing these when I was doing those videos, because the chemo burned through the top of my head. You know, in your head, in your head. We got the 100th anniversary of World War I, that's a whole nother gig I can really, and I will get into it on my radio show tomorrow. So, in this here, there. I like grocery receipts. They're in a lot of my big paintings that I don't show yet. So, chicken up the sea. Ooh, that's bad. I like this. They got these new little tops on here. Andy, we'll experiment with this. The sippy cups. I think this is going to work out good now. Oh yeah. See, that's already ready. It already has the water in it. So we'll go with it first. It's got that sippy cup on it. Now, I came out of my old bedroom, the old floors. My mom had carpeted over. My mom used to always say next door over there, that artist that she was, I'm like, what? How come you carpeted over this beautiful oak floor? She says, well, I want a green carpet. It's still there, that green carpet. And she's, I said, like, why? Reminds me of grass. I says, well, paint the fuck, paint clouds on the fucking ceiling then. You know? I like that. It took me years to appreciate that. So, now we'll use this as our horizon line. Oh, that's nice, so, okay, try to get across the horizon. Yeah, that's working out good. That's nice. Okay, maybe like this, maybe like this. Maybe like this. I like the tile floor structure. I can get into that. Why? Is that a fucking spit in the face of the so-called elitist? Oh, fuck yeah. Fucking egg. God, that makes nice to paint with. That lid, it comes like that. Already pre. So, Andy. Another. This here is classic tomato. Okay, so I'll get that going. Don't drink this shit or eat it. See the tunnel coming out, I think, the evolution. Let's 
Talked to this young girl in Knoxville. Cool art is starving to death, you know, who got the usury complex. She was a smart girl. I was at the bar at the tomato, having tomato soup. And she's got it. She keeps too well. What a great idea. Hey, it is so, I got all tomato champagne. I don't know what I'll do right now. And I want to get the big dipper in here. Megan, hold me up. Megan Rice will hold me up. Not the idea to paint on a clothesline. Incorporate, you know, I say stay in tune it, the chicken of the sea. I'll figure out how to incorporate that into it. I mean, I'll throw it in it, but I'm really not into the, I don't know, there's so much a disturbing aspect about what people have visualized as fucking conceptual fucking art. I don't want to go there because they tried to ruin it. I'll figure out a way. Hey, I'll just write chicken of the sea across it. Me. By the way, she pulled up my soup cases. My FedEx girl, she's right there. She says, oh my God, wow, these are the greatest. I says, yeah, I'm an artist. There's paintings in there with the soup cans into the thing. She says, why didn't somebody come up with this idea? These are so great to transport. Because you know what people ship in the mail these days.
I'll continue to work on it. Stan Tuned, PU239. What does this all mean and what does this equal? What does this is? This ain't a fucking popularity contest, fuckers. This is our lives. This is our fucking lives. This is a fucking war. When you guys fucking wake up and realize this, I could give a fuck who watches this. You know, the main event happened. It's called leukemia, fucking cancer. Fighting for my fucking life. Fighting for my life. By the way, that is on the back of the my old Chevron Nevada test site map where I met Megan Rice. We'll see what this thing, I like it. I like it. I'll work on it. Stand tuned.